Okay, so we are doing an audition from start to finish uh, in Reaper. So we are going to find your audiobook you want to audition for. Uh, in this case, I found this one here. Gone over to audition and looked for the script. So this is the script here. And this is what I'll be reading, reading <laughs> during this audition. So we'll go over here to Reaper where you will insert a new track and arm it, which is this and we'll get ready to record. I've gone ahead and put a couple of basic uh, effects that come right with with Reaper, uh, free with Reaper, so uh, these work just fine um, to get your levels a little more evened and uh, a little more polished and get your volume up. So I'm gonna go ahead and press record and we'll see how quickly we can do this. Chapter 2. Escape the Busy Trap and Avoid Burnout. Beware the Bareness of a Busy Life. Socrates. Socrates. Being overwhelmed results in burnout. It produces a condition where the individual feels mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausted. The feeling occurs when you feel overwhelmed and aren't able to keep up with demands. As a result, Chaos factors into the equation and the missing elements lack focus. In fact, staying in this challenging condition will likely make you believe there is no alternative for getting out of this mess. And then we'll stop it and we'll go back in and edit. So I hit spacebar to stop. I like to zoom with my mouse wheel. That's an option in Reaper. And we'll just go back over and listen to this and edit. I like to, super secret is edit in 2x mode. So this way you can actually uh, listen twice as fast and get your edits done very quickly this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. First edit for Socrates. So that's a breath and then uh, Socrates. So I will just use S to split and then uh, S to split here. I'll make sure that I have um, ripple editing on. So when I delete this section, this section will actually just snap over. So I don't have to actually move it physically. So that right section snapped to the left section. There you go. Okay, so there's a glitch there on remember. So we'll do a cut here. And then another cut here. Try to keep the timing similar. And then when we hit delete for this to go away, they snap together because we have ripple editing on. So I think, I actually think I like the first take better. Let's just double check. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna cut the second one out. Let's make sure it makes sense in context. Yeah, and sometimes when you're breathing in between, uh, you can edit this to make it a little smoother. So I see the breath there. And you can even fade it in this way. So it's very simple to create a fade in and a fade out so that uh, the transition is smoother between clips. And that's that. So what I like to do too is uh, once we're done with this, I like to make sure I have my DS are set correctly and that I've got my output level where it needs to be. I'm just using these built-in plugins with Reaper um, to get the levels up to where they need to be. Uh, let's go ahead and we can go over this really quickly. Uh, Reacomp is just a basic compressor. And I just went and selected the modern vocal here as a starting point. And then the ratio was higher. I believe it was like five to one. And then I turned it down. I think I'll turn it down a little more closer to three to one. Um, it's still pretty aggressive. Uh, so when we're playing some of this, you can see anything that crosses this line is being reduced by the compressor. And 
you just want to get about three to six decibels of gain reduction here. Um, and then I also do uh, what's called an X comp. This is very simple. So this is really just uh, compressing this band here that's meant for S's. So I'm just DSing uh, for for this high frequency here. So it's just very simple. I just use the preset, male DS, leave it like that, and I don't make any adjustments. Um, it works pretty well. Uh, another thing I'm using this zero crossing maximizer. When you get to actually uh, exporting your chapters, you'll need to make sure you don't go over negative 3 dB uh, as a, a limit to the loudness of your audiobook. So this is a requirement for audiobooks by ACX and using this plugin here just helps you to make sure that happens. And then the overall volume here is uh, displayed in this general dynamics plugin. All of these come free with Reaper. And so when I press play here, uh, you will see the volume. And I like to keep my volume between negative 24 and negative, 5, negative 12, negative 15. So I'm trying to kind of aim for this area here. And what I do is just turn up the output of uh, the compressor that is right before this. So actually, yeah. So, and I've already done that. I've gotten the output of that compressor up pretty loud, plus 10 dB, to get it into this area. And then you're ready to export. So you've got a loud enough production. And what I like to do is use these handles here. So if you double click, uh, shift, double click, it will give you your your handles for the section that you're going to render. So I like to go a little bit further than where I am and start at the beginning. Uh, if you want to get really accurate, you can zoom in and go over to the beginning and start there. And then go File, Render, and this is uh, Audition. I like to call it Audition or Audition 1 and uh, put it in a folder that makes sense to you. Um, down here, you'll want to make sure it's an MP3 format. Um, usually, uh, 256 is plenty. 192 is OK also. Uh, and 320 is, is obviously a better quality, but takes up more space. So I'll go ahead and render this. It takes very little time. It's processing all those effects. So you do, oh, let me, one more thing, <laughs> one more important thing. Before you do this, uh, you want to go back to normal speed so you don't sound like a chipmunk. Um, so you'll want to um, just bring your rate back down to one and then render the file. Uh, there we go. And now we've got a new file here. So it's numbering them. Uh, it's a option silently increment file names to avoid overwriting. I like to do that so that um, I have, uh, I don't have to constantly change the name of the file. And there you go. And now we're gonna upload that audition. So we're actually gonna go over to audition and uh, thanks for letting me audition. You can say something to the rights holder here if you want. Focus. So Ronald E. McKnight. So we will just write Ronald, thank you for listening. And if you wanna write something uh, special, if you know the something the author has written or something interesting you can say there and then you'll just browse for the file so wherever you have it um, I do have it in documents Reaper media okay. audition 0102 open and then that's uploading to ACX then you click submit audition and you're done then you wait <laughs> so this could take a long time um, you can listen to your audition here so if you wanted to redo it if for some reason you heard a glitch in your audition you can um, delete it and upload a new one and also you can send a message directly to the uh, the author or rights holder uh, sometimes you're not dealing directly with the authors you're de dealing with publishers and that's it that's basically the fastest way to audition for an audiobook um, inside of Reaper if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, if there's something uh, you missed or I went over too fast, uh, leave a message and that's it.